right. So, French Bulldogs, uh, this is about their origin and history. Uh, French Bulldogs were breeded to be the dogs that they are now. They didn't just come out the way they are. So, all right. England, France, and America, those are the three main countries involved in the production of French Bulldogs. Uh, England started with the classic English Bulldog. So, you know, usually pretty big. Uh, you know, they were back in the 1800s, they were, could be used as a fighting dog. They weren't very agile. So, that's where France comes into play. So France decided they wanted a more agile uh, fighting dog. They wanted one um, with even less of a snout so it could latch on to the side of a, the skin of a pig or another dog. So they breeded them with the bull terriers and the terriers. So small, kind of frisky dogs. Oh, okay, my bad. All right, and then uh, once France started producing these dogs, uh, the English Bulldog mixed with the Terrier, they came out into these smaller versions of the Bulldog, you know, very frisky, you know, very aggressive. As you can see, they have no snout whatsoever, which does cause breathing problems because it's hard, like dogs that cool off with their snout, you know, by taking in oxygen and panning, and it, it's harder for them. So they have a lot of health problems, you know. They're really, they're really bunched up. Um, so American tourists, they fell in love with these little dogs. So when they would travel to France, <coughs> they would take the dogs, bring them back to America. So France had a really big... Um, they had like a really big market for these dogs. The problem was World War II, because in World War II, obviously, you know, they couldn't keep selling these French Bulldogs. So, unfortunately, all these cute little dogs, they had to be starved to death mm -hmm. to, to save um, financial costs, because you can't keep feeding them if you can't sell them. Mm -hmm. So, it wasn't until America in the 1980s they started to uh, resurrect the French Bulldog. So they had breeders of their own breed these dogs in America. And uh, they, started t they started paying attention to their, their health problems, you know. Um, like a lot of them, a lot of French Bulldogs die in labor just because, you know, it's hard for them to breathe, things, things of that nature. Uh, they overheat really easily. Um, so we, we had the right people taking care of these dogs. Um, so the, the French Bulldogs, they gained popularity with uh, a magazine called The Bulletin. So um, French Bulldogs became very popular with famous people. Um, Uh, I don't know if you guys know Ice T. He has some French Bulldogs. Um, uh, John Legend has some French Bulldogs. Just famous people started taking on to these dogs, and uh, yeah, these these are very interesting dogs. They're very they're very aggressive, but they're also like probably the most loving dogs. You know, they'll they'll love you, man. I've, I've had a couple French Bulldogs in my time. I had a black one, and then I had a uh, gold one, like this right here. Oh. And uh, yeah, so that's my speech. Oh, thank you, Jackson. They are adorable. Look at those little faces.